thing about it now, but you can see see why it's brought in. Like, there's a lot of teams at the start of the year. You can say they're they're not really playing for anything. Their league is their championship. So if you're not if you're not good enough to get to a provincial final, I think there should be something there for you to try to try and go and win. So if we don't if we don't get promoted, I suppose it will be something that we'll have to look at. Realistically, every game I want to play, I want to win. But then looking further, like at the moment, obviously Dublin are are superior to everyone else. So unless unless the gap is closed, you can't say I'd obviously love to say I would love to win a Leinster championship, but you have to be realistic as well. Unless that gap closes over the, the next few years, it's not going to happen. If you obviously if you don't get into into the division two or if you don't get to a Leinster final, you're going to be in that. So if you're in it, you want to win it and Offaly would be probably regarded as one of the strongest, stronger teams in uh, in the second tier because of where we lie, say in the middle of Division Three, you're trying to push up. So like if you're if you're representing Offaly in Crow Park, it's going to be a big day out, and to win that would be would be huge as well. Well, I'd be amazed if it came in at this stage, like especially with mm-hmm. your two provincial winners going down to Division Four, and you'll have a lot of really good teams in Division Three. I'd be astounded if it was allowed to happen, like. I, I I just can't see the I can't see the purpose in it. Like I, I really can't. I, I played in the Tommy Murphy in two thousand and eight, and it was a nightmare. Like just pointless. Players just wanted to go back and play with their clubs, and no matter what you what name you call it or what uh, little kind of prize you have at the end of it, players just don't want it. There has to be something that has some way of integrating you back into the main championship. And and as I said, that's even kind of a bit high fluted because the reality is. Like, look at every club structure in every county. You have junior, intermediate, and senior as the main championship. And I, I just can't understand how there isn't a similar thing from a, in a summertime, kind of a, a league sort of a style where it's, you know, your junior, intermediate, and senior or something of that capacity. And you have a clear pathway. If you're good enough to get out of junior, you go to intermediate. And if you're good enough to get up out of there, you go on to senior. And you give yourself seven games or whatever you might have or six games, whatever it might be, and you're playing home and away, and it's in summertime, it's not in the depths of winter. I think it's just a no-brainer to flip the year in his head and, and put the league in summer, but uh, unlikely to happen. But I, it, And it would take so much emphasis away from November, December, January slog, where most teams are trying to be championship ready for the end of January for their first league game. If you didn't have to be championship ready, let's say, for your first, we call it the league, the summer league, if you weren't being ready for that until, let's say, the start of May, you could realistically start your preparations in the end of January. And it just frees up a month somewhere for players that it's not literally 12 months of the year, you know. But it's it's very frustrating. Like, and I think players just, players kind of know it's a little bit of tokenism. And I, I, I just can't understand how anyone would really think that there's any value in it. Like, what, what is, a, what is a, a player who's, let's say, for Cavan now, who won a, an Ulster last year and possibly will have to, will, will have to play in a Talton Cup regardless next year? What's, what's going to be the desire there? Who's, going, who's that going to benefit, really? You mm-hmm. know, so, look, it, there's probably a hundred different views, but I think it's uh, crazy. And people will say, you want games at your own level. Yes, but don't have it as lip service. Actually create... Uh, setting like I just said with a with a junior to meet a senior or your four groups your league and and play it in the summertime you know but um a lot of change will have to happen for that yeah it's kind of hit and miss like you know um you you want to be playing the top level but is it realistic that we are going to get to a quarter final semi final not 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 at the moment anyway you know bit of luck maybe but um yeah the division two. I mean, they're looking at the Division 4 teams, as I said, not in between them, you know, you'd be them, put your head together. It could be anyone there if you, if you really wanted to. And the Division 3, it's a step up, but again, it's, it's championship football, you know, everyone would be up for it that bit more. Um, so, yeah, it, w- it won't be too bad, you know, you get a few more games. Um, although last year, the qualifiers, we went out against Westmead. Very, very strong side, but it's just really enjoyed, you know, made my debut that day. Um, yeah, you want to be playing against the best, then again, you have to beat what's around us first as well. Yeah, I suppose it's a funny one. I was talking to, teammate, uh, talking to a teammate of mine the other day about this, and he was even saying it was funny. He made a good point. A lot of the people who were talking about tears were actually hurling people. Um, I think, listen, I work with two guys used to play Intercounty with 
Tipperary and Limerick, Sean Buckley and Kevin Mulrine, they both played Division 4 football and they also played in Munster Finals. Um, you talked to Gary Brennan there who saw both sides of kind with Clare as well. And listen, I'm sure you get the same answer off all three players. They all want to be involved in a championship campaign where you, ha- you have a chance of winning Sam Maguire. Um, we've seen it in the hurling. It doesn't work. It, tears haven't worked. Antrim this year. Antrim made great inroads in the league. They got promoted last year. They lost one championship game and now they're down to John McDonough again. And I, that's, I suppose it's unfair to the system. You know, promotion relation is wherever but part in the league. But I think in championship, every team should get a chance to compete for Sam McGuire. Um, the lead, as for the lead from lads, I know, listen, with the result of the weekend, but people forget last year they played a dairy team and drew them in the league. And this is a dairy team that were, would have been very disappointed that they didn't get a result against Donegal the weekend. Um, they put up a great performance and they look a real serious team. So, I mean, to say a Leitrim don't deserve to be in the, the championship or other teams who've got beatings in the championship, I mean, I, I just think it's ridiculous, really. Listen, I don't know the correct format. I'd like to see a Champions League format where you have a Division 1, 2, 3, 4 team involved. Um, and listen, then maybe the top two qualify for uh, top 16. The bottom two then maybe could qualify for a second year time competition. But listen, if they don't have time to do that, that's fair enough. You still have three championship games. And if you don't do enough to finish in the top two, then fair enough. Um, because listen, the club players have to be looked after too. And the championship can't run on. I suppose there's that empty feeling for the teams that go out like ourselves after losing one game. Listen, if you get beaten twice in any championship season, you don't deserve to be at the latter end of it anyway. But to not get that chance to play two games, is it's tough because you put a lot of time into it, a lot of training sessions. And I just think every team should have at least two games in it. But I do think, especially for Hurling people to say that there should be tears in football. Listen, there was a few results that... There was big margins, but in any competition there is. I mean, you, the Premier League there, Man City go out at one weekend and beat Brighton 5 0, and Brighton could go out and beat Man United the next weekend 2 1. So I do think I do think every team should have a chance to win Sam Maguire. I think maybe an overhaul is needed. I'd like to see the group stages because I think even I think it would improve things. Um a division four team playing against division one. I think while the result might be one-sided, and people say it's not good for any team, but it does improve the standard when you're playing against that standard of player. It, the gap actually widens when you don't have that opportunity to play against players of the highest standard in GA. So I would like to see a bit of a reform, but not not this tier system that people are talking about. The long-term goal is always in Fermanagh is to win an Ulster title. That's my goal anyway. I think it's we've we've talked about it as a group before, and that's. That's what we want to do. Like, we want to be the first ever to win an Ulster title. So, and again, we've we've got the, this group of players coming through that are definitely well capable of, of competing at the highest level. So, the long term goal kind of has to be an Ulster title. And obviously, you've you've mentioned tier two there, but we haven't really thought about tier two at, at all, to be honest. It's, like, it's hard to know. I suppose as a young cub growing up, you always look towards that All Ireland and playing in the All Ireland. Is, something you, you've always wanted to do competing with the top teams but I suppose if you're not I think everyone's going to have the chance to get themselves to that level like so it's not as if everyone's just going to be put into like the lower level teams just put into it and they'll stay there you'll, you'll have your chance to work up to it so again I said the goal is to win an Ulster title so I suppose if you won an Ulster title and a tier 2 championship that wouldn't be too bad either but because realistically, the goal is not to win an All Ireland in Fermanagh, and it probably isn't the goal within about half of the counties in Ireland. So, it probably, if I think if it was done right and it was played in front of a crowd in Croke Park, maybe, and there was enough coverage, I think it it'd be a good enough idea. Uh, it's a bit of a mixed, kind of a mixed feeling, you know. It's obviously given us and other kind of weaker counties that would not usually get a big run in championship. A chance to win silverware, you know. Um, I think was it division three and four teams. Yeah, I think it's division three yeah. and four teams. Um, yeah, so the, it, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of evening the playing field a little bit, like you know. But at the same time, you want to be you want to be competing for Sam Maguire, like. But I just at the same time, yeah, I, it's just a mix. It's such a mixed feeling, like you just grow up watching the All Ireland finals, like oh, I want to get there, but 
realistically like it's it's a it's a big 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 picture frame for Wicklow you know so the, the, the tier two is is definitely a, a nice step in terms of us trying to win a bit of silverware um, and on how they run it it'll be interesting whether or not they go forward with a first or after the club championships but um yeah it'll be interesting to play in it all right yeah absolutely i think that i think the day in crow park or to play under a crowd like you know you mightn't get the you mightn't get the sellout crowd that you would for an all-around final but you definitely get a big crowd and as you said it'd be on television you get the coverage you know so i think definitely that will sell it a bit more to players definitely you know and it'll make them It'll make it probably bring the, the the kind of the fun into it more. You know, players are playing for you're not just playing for a qualifier. Like you know, you're playing for a trophy, a, a place in Crow Park. And look, it's it's what every player really wants. To. It's the it's the dream for I'd say 99% of GA players. Like you know what I mean. So hmm. it's definitely one of mine. Um, yeah, it's a strange one. I like I, I always like to be think positive. I suppose about things and and try to look at the bright side of it, but. Um, there is that little bit of a grading thing, and I suppose. But look, once you're getting a chance to, to play for Sam Roy, I think is the main one. Look, you, um, if you're not winning your provincial championship, are you really realistically just outside of your winners of the provincials? Are they going to win um, Sam Roy? Maybe not. Maybe so. I don't know. But um, look, I think there, it, it's going to be a positive having more championship matches, um, especially for young players like myself. And as you said, getting to play more matches and more training time under our new manager and stuff like that will be will be good and beneficial for a lot of players um, and I suppose it gives you a little bit more incentive as you said if you draw Dublin first and you get bet out the gate in the first round of Leinster and it's over and that's it done then it's kind of it's disheartening and look we've seen many tweets over the last while of players from different counties around Leinster saying oh look what's the point anymore and um, we're going to get bet by Dublin and I suppose that's a defeatist attitude and stuff and so on so on maybe it's realistic maybe it's not but look um, I think more games is going to benefit everyone, um, no matter no matter who you're playing or what championship you're playing for, etc. I think more games is, is, is can only be better for everyone. Thank you very much for watching this clip of the very most recent podcast uploaded on the channel. If you do enjoy this content, please leave a like and subscribe so you're notified every time I do drop uh, a new upload. And it does very much help the channel grow and help the channel uh, reach more people. So I very much would appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the video. You can also follow the uh, page on Instagram and you can also follow on Facebook, Twitter, Spotify. You can follow on all social media platforms as well. So if you're not already followed over there, go over there and give the page a follow to help the channel grow as well so i do very much appreciate anyone tuning in and i'll see you all later